Hitting the golf ball far has always been a staple of high-end golfers. Distance has, for the past few years, been one of the hottest talking points within pro golf. Join us here at Eagle Golf Clips as we take a closer look at the five longest drives ever to be hit in professional golf. If you like this kind of content, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Let's dive in. During the 2018 event of the Dell Technologies Match Play event, Dustin Johnson hit a monstrous drive. In the match between him and Kevin Kisner, the 12 hole set the stage for the perfect storm. The par 5 hole has an elevated tee box, with a distance difference of 82 feet to where DJ's ball landed. On this day, a stiff Texan breeze was also hitting the players back pretty hard. But what really helped propel Dustin's ball forward was the cart path. A perfect bounce resulted in the ball rolling another 119 yards, before it came to rest 489 yards from the tee box. Unfortunately for us golf fans, there was no recorded video of the drive. And the lucky bounce did not help Dustin Johnson, as he did not win any of his matches. Bubba Watson went on to win the event. A top 5 list in the sport of golf would not be complete without Tiger Woods. In 2002 at the Tournament of Champions, at the Kapalua Plantation course, Tiger Woods hit the longest drive to be hit in the ShotLink era. ShotLink is the PGA Tour's system for tracking all golf shots live during their events. The system helps tour players track their stats, and it helps fans follow tour golf more intimately. Tiger's amazing drive was hit on the 18th hole during the third round of the tournament. With wind blowing in Tiger's back and the hole playing with some downward elevation, Tiger was able to blast his drive a whopping 498 yards. Louis Osthusen is known for his ultra-smooth swing, winning him the 2010 Open Championship and finishing as the runner-up in all the four majors. To see him on a list of the longest drives is not something most people would expect, as he's not known for being a long hitter. But as we've seen in our number 5 spot, special circumstances help set up for long-distance drives. Like DJ's drive, the cart path set Usthusen's drive up to be one for the history books. Louis was clearly not satisfied with his strike, and the ball was heading offline. After catching the cart path and rolling, the ball finally came to rest alongside a curb, 500 yards from where it was struck. Coming in at the number 2 spot is Mike Austin's 515-yard screamer. This drive has been credited by the Guinness Book of World Records as the longest drive in competitive play. Compared to our three previous spots, this drive was made without any elevation change from tee to green. Even though Austin was aided by 25 mile per hour winds, he used a Bellotta ball and persimmon wood driver, and to top it all off he did it at the age of 64 years. The ball was driven on a 450 yard par 4, so unfortunately he missed his mark by 60 yards. Mike Austin was a specialist in long drives, and developed his own swing, called the Mike Austin Swing. Similar to his Thuzen, Carl Cooper's record-breaking drive was a mishit. Cooper hit his shot towards the green on the third hole at Oak Hill Country Club 1992 Texas Open. The ball got an unfortunate kick and ran along a cart path. The ball came to a stop 300 yards off its intended target. Just to get back to the green he first was aiming for, he had to use a 4-iron and then an 8-iron. Our favorite drive on this list has to be Mike Austin's drive. He managed to drive the ball with inferior equipment at an age of 64. Most players at this age struggle keeping their distances, even with today's modern golf clubs and balls. Before you leave, comment on what your favorite drive is, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one!